know that I'm going to build a house, right? I think you mentioned that yeah. before. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. From yes. your expression, I can tell it's it's going slow. Yes, yes, it? yes, 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 exactly. Yeah. It is going slow. And sometimes I kind of wish that, you know, because of COVID and everything, the way we work is more limited. I was thinking of a robot actually doing the construction. So no humans around you, right? You're trying no, to keep the no, social just distancing thing. to keep this, thing. you know, sterile and hygienic, right? right. Well, yeah. why don't we go over to the UK <laughs> to hire robots like those? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. See, today has the story for you, Marisa, and for you. Let's see. In a farmer's field in Northern England, the future of construction could be slowly taking shape. Yorkshire-based firm Construction Automation Limited has started work on what's claimed to be the UK's first ever robot-built home. The company's automatic bricklaying robot, ABLR, nicknamed Bob, is busily laying bricks and mortar. Well, we're kind of emulating the traditional um, bricklaying method. Uh, we're just automating that using a machine. Um, so we still place uh, mortar in a traditional method and then we place the brick onto the mortar. And then following up behind the machine will be a skilled operator, uh, a mason, that will then perform the pointing functions and the final inspection. Construction Automation Limited has been developing the technology for about four years. This is the first test outside the factory. The home, a modern three-bedroom house in the village of Everingham, will contain about 10,000 bricks. It's one of the last industries uh, that hasn't embraced uh, robotics and, and move forward. If, if you look at um, bricklaying, uh, the technology goes back thousands of years. A, a brick was designed to fit in the person's hand and still does. So if you look at the car industry, you look at the food manufacturing industries, they've all advanced with robotics and handling systems. Um, this is still a physically demanding job. So that, that, that's where there is a need. Hanging from a nine meter high frame, Hanging from a 9 meter high frame, the robotic arm moves on a square-shaped track placed around the home's foundations. Bricks are all slightly different shaped, so the system first measures the bricks three times. It then uses sensors to accurately place the bricks. Mortar flows from a nearby nozzle. ABLR is even fitted with a wind gauge and thermometer to check whether conditions are right for construction work. Well, the machine could take the architect's plans um, and then we'll create a digital version of it. So it knows where the windows are, it knows where the doors are, it knows where the uh, lintels are, the tie bars, and every detail of the house. So as the machine goes on, it places the bricks, half bricks, full bricks in exactly the right place. The company rejects the notion its technology may steal jobs from hard-working bricklayers. They say human workers will still be involved in the process. The system requires a labourer to load bricks and mortar onto the robot and a skilled person to do some of the more complicated tasks. The average age of the UK uh, bricklaying um, person is roughly about 50 years old. You never really see a very old bricklayer and currently you don't see that many young bricklayers. Um, the industry is, is not attracting uh, uh, younger personnel uh, to come into the industry. So we would like to attract um, the younger generation and by doing so incorporating the technology, I think we'll learn the technology, people stay at home playing on their iPads and, and their Xboxes and etc. They would also like to attract the younger generation and by doing so incorporating the technology. What certainly would change is the job of construction managers. The company says ABLR's progress can be monitored remotely using a connected device, meaning directors could check the progress of their projects from the comfort of their home. Once the tasks are completed, the robot also takes a photograph, creating a digital log of the building's construction history. Because it's a, it's a computer and it's a, it, is a web, it can be a web-based system, um, this allows 
the on-site manager to sit in his office and monitor the progress of, of all his machines on site. Again, the pr production director that sat in the head office, he can look at all his sites globally and see the activity of every single machine in real time. So he can look at what progress is being made or what's not being made. Once running at full speed, they claim ABLR will be able to construct similar homes in just two weeks, or about half the time it may take traditional bricklayers. They believe the technology could be used to address the UK's shortage of affordable homes. The current housing market is aimed at building 200,000 houses per year. Right now, they are building roughly half of that. The home should be completed in the next few weeks. They plan to take the technology to the market in about six months.